Okay, and I'm back, and I'm ready to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. How about you? Alright, let's do it. So, you will need to know one more algorithm, and it is a little long and a little hard, but it's it's kind of gets really easy, and re it really, like, um, gets put into your memory really, really easily. So, it's like the 3x3, three three, sort of. You just need to know one more algorithm, but there's only two to solve the whole thing. That's why there's only two here. And to, it's solved in layers again. And put the white on top, like always. And I start with that little sign, so I use this. See, now you need to just, just bring up the corners. I'm just going to simply say it. There's no algorithm. Just bring them up where they need to go. So you see this and this is lined up now. You just look for another white. Let's see. Oh, here's a white here. I need to be here. Just ignore this because it's just going to be moved out of the way. Remember, you do it just like the 3x3. Three three. Bring the corners up. I'm not doing any algorithms, just looking at the colors and doing what they need to be done. Doing, I mean. So now the top layer solved. That's, that, that was really quick for the top layer, I'm sorry. But that's, that's simply, it's nothing really. You just bring the corners up where they need to be. And where they need to be is self-explanatory when you hold a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. So... If you if you need help with that, then send me a picture or send me a um, comment on how how do you do this? How do you bring it up? Um, is there any algorithms that I can answer that now? No, there isn't. So we're just gonna do the bottom layer. I just kind of skipped through the top layer, but that's super easy. Like even for beginners, you don't need to know. You just need to know to bring it up. But if you watch my three by three video, then it should be lightning fast easy so now the bottom layer this is what the main event is we will be taking the um or scenarios again like the bottom layer scenarios in the three by three so scenario scenario scenarios we need to take now scenario number one happens all the time is there's just one yellow yellow is the bottom remember there's one yellow maybe it's here maybe it's here maybe it's here it's almost as common as the fish for the rubik's cube the bottom um three by three one and when it is you put it in the bottom left corner you can remember that because the fish needs to fish's nose needs to go in the bottom left corner so you do that and you perform the algorithm that was in the three by three video R U R U R up to R prime, or I skipped that prime, sorry. And here, I'll, I'll hold it up. You can pause the video and look at it. This one right here. Okay. Now, what you do in this scenario, you do it right as it is. Okay, now it's right there. Just move it to the right corner and then form it. All right. Oh, man, that just solved it. I didn't mean to do that. All right, well, I'll mix it back up and get it to the right place, and I'll just pause the video. Okay, so you're going to perform the algorithm. Okay, there it is. Bring it down. No solve, thank God. <laughs> all right, so now you should have the, the yellow, all the yellow solved, but the edges are not, but there should be two doubles, maybe a double blue or a double green or a double red, but in this case, it is in orange. Maybe the lighting makes it look like red, but that is orange. Orange, and then there's red. All right, so the orange, I'll just take it away from there so it doesn't bother people. There. Now you line it with the orange part, like the orange side, that the, like the one that's there, so now you have the full orange side. And you put that away from you, like in the 3x3 three three when you um, have everything solved but the edges. And, yeah, when you face it away. And it gets a little different in just a second. New algorithm here. This is the new algorithm that you have to solve. Or new. Ugh, no. U, R, U prime, R, F2, R prime, U, R, F2, R2. It's kind of long, but... Before you perform it, I don't know why, but the guy I saw, he grabbed it like this, and he turned the top, but this is what happens. So you do that, perform it, and that, that's what solves it. That's how quick it is. That's, that's it. That's all you need. Let's do it. 
All right, so now I'm back to that point. Now it's blue, okay? We've already solved that. I'm just going back to show you again. So now this this case is blue. It changed, so you push it away from you. Turn the top once to, or do a uh, top, or what am I doing? Up. I always want to say top instead of up for you. <laughs> so you do up prime, so it'll be up prime. So the blue's now over to your left, and you do that algorithm right here. And then you might have to turn the top once because or twice it doesn't matter but you just turn it and it's solved and if you need any help or any questions then just um comment and i will get to them as po soon as pos i possibly can i hope you thoroughly enjoyed um the videos i have made i if you need any more videos on how to solve things I only know 3x3 three three and 2x2, two two, but I will gladly try and learn lots of other things, like maybe the Pyraminx, the Triangle Cube, and maybe the Mega Minx, the 12-sided cube. That's really crazy awesome. And um, if you need any more algorithms, if I don't know if you can send me pictures or not, but if you can, send me a picture of a scenario that you don't know or if I didn't cover, um, then just... um. Uh, leave a comment or a picture, and I will try my hardest to try and get that um, algorithm to you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.